Kim Spedek. Welcome to episode 122 of Transition Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk about transition for students who are deaf or hard of hearing. Right now I'm going to switch over to a short slide presentation to share this information. In today's video I will discuss the three biggest challenges for students who are deaf or hard of hearing transitioning to adult life and some suggestions for improving their outcomes. Let's first talk about the definition of deaf and hard of hearing under IDEA. Deafness means a hearing impairment that is so severe that the child is impaired in processing linguistic information through hearing with or without amplification that adversely affects a child's educational performance. Hard of hearing impairment means an impairment in hearing, whether permanent or fluctuating, that adversely affects a child's educational performance, but that is not included under the definition of deafness. Now let's get into the biggest challenges for students who are deaf or hard of hearing transitioning to adult life. The first one is learning, and this is not because of their cognitive abilities, it's because of environmental factors. The second one is employment, and the third one is poor self-concept and social problems. Let's look deeper into the three biggest challenges. With regards to learning, people who are deaf rely heavily on visual input. So when lighting is poor, it affects the amount of visual input they can receive. Thus, it affects their learning. In addition, fluorescent lights emit a special sound that interferes with hearing aids and cochlear implants, making it even more difficult when trying to distinguish what peers or the teacher is saying. Another challenge that affects learning is background noises and acoustics. Acoustics are often a problem in the classroom, but luckily there are several ways to solve this challenge. Students who are deaf or hard of hearing need full visual access. So the best seating arrangement for full participation, engagement, and access by these students is to be arranged in a U shape. This will allow the students to see who is speaking and participate fully in the conversation. Language deficiencies is one of the biggest learning challenges because of the verbal communication is very limited or non-existent. Keep in mind that some students who are deaf or hard of hearing, first language may not be English. Be sure to provide an appropriate interpretation service that will effectively communicate the lessons in their primary language. Another challenge to learning is lip reading difficulties. It's important to keep in mind that only 30 to 40% of spoken English is distinguishable on the lips. So students who rely on lip reading often perform better when it is a subject that is familiar. Inadequate or incomplete background knowledge and experiences can also inhibit the student's learning. And lastly, many schools lack the technology resources for their students who are deaf or hard of hearing, which could significantly increase their learning development process. And there is also a lack of time for collaboration among the teachers. Due to busy schedules during the school year, it's often difficult to hold regular collaborative meetings with individuals that are critical components to the student's academic process. The second challenge for students who are deaf or hard of hearing transitioning to adult life is employment. People who are deaf or hard of hearing can be ignored when revealing status or accommodations needed on a job application. Therefore, many of them don't, and after they receive the job, they have difficulties. Another potential problem is setting up interviews or interviewing over the phone are nearly impossible without an interpreter. And interpreters are very expensive. Difficulties for the person who is deaf or hard of hearing after getting hired could include getting announcements that were verbal, such as over the intercom, 
the working environment, including background noises and again, fluorescent lighting, getting the attention of others, and lip reading can also be difficult if the rate of the person speaking is too slow or too fast. The third challenge for students who are deaf or hard of hearing transitioning to adult life are social interactions. According to statistics, nine out of 10 children who are deaf are born to hearing parents. Deaf children born to hearing families are more vulnerable to language delays. One of the reasons could be the mismatch of communication modalities used between the deaf children and their families. Another reason could be that these children are vulnerable to language delays because of communication strategies. Understanding the thoughts and feelings of others, ability to self-regulate, especially in relation to attention, impulsivity, and emotions, rate of understanding social role, and overall social functioning. Additionally, deaf children have been found to be 1.5 to 2 times more vulnerable to mental health difficulties compared with their hearing peers. Problems can relate to isolation and depression, along with wider behavioral problems. Here are some suggestions for improving outcomes for students who are deaf or hard of hearing transitioning to adult life. First and foremost, teach students to take ownership in their transition process. Give students many opportunities to discover and explore their interests, employment, and post-secondary education options through assessments, activities, and tasks. Teach self-advocacy skills and how to set goals. And remember, students need to learn about their disability, IEP, rights, and especially the accommodations that they need for employment. Teach work readiness skills, particularly soft skills. Help students make a list of supports. Information on how to help students do this is in Transition Tuesday, episode 81. For students who are deaf or hard of hearing, make sure you consider the amplification needed and if the student needs an interpreter. Teach social skills and try to get the student involved at school. Get parents and families involved in the transition process and have the student volunteer and or participate in a work study program. For today's bonus, I'll be sending you information and resources to help students who are deaf or hard of hearing transition to adult life. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you use this information to help your students. Be sure to check your email for the bonus we just sent over. If this is the first time you've ever seen an episode of Transition Tuesday, click the link below to receive the bonus. Be sure to like and share the video and leave a comment or suggestion for a future episode of Transition Tuesday. Have a great week. See you next Tuesday.